Hello guys, this is Dr. Palneepan Manikam. Few doctors have died after COVID vaccination in India. My heart goes out to their family. Such tragic events. Let's see what went wrong in this video. The first case is a very young doctor who is only 23 years old. He got his first dose of COVID vaccination. Three days later, he had symptoms of COVID-19 and it was so severe that we could not save him. He died like two to three weeks after the first dose of COVID vaccination. Such a sad story. I would like to point two important issues in this incident. Number one is you are completely protected only two weeks after the second dose or 45 days after the first dose. So until then, you are at risk of getting COVID-19 because of multiple exposures. The second important point is he was only 23 years old. This implies how lethal COVID-19 can be. You know, this is not very common, but it can still happen. We see this all the time from a medical standpoint. Young patients who can develop severe complications to a point that we will not be able to save them because of COVID-19. And that is the whole point of emphasizing on COVID-19 vaccinations to everybody so that we can avoid these sad stories in future. Another sad story is an anesthesiologist, very young doctor in Madurai, India who died after COVID-19 vaccination because of an injection called diclofenac. You know, she had some muscle pain and fever apparently and her husband, who's a doctor as well, who gave this injection diclofenac to her, she started developing anaphylactic shock, which is what we call as allergic reaction to a drug. This is not directly related to the vaccine, but this can happen to anybody, to any drug, if they are allergic to any particular component of that drug. Usually, allergic reactions are more common if they are given as injections rather than tablets. And that's why when you have like fever or muscle pain, you know, we recommend to take paracetamol tablet uh, and not prefer injections in this post-vaccination period. And this also brings a very important point that if you are allergic to any medications or any drug in the past, when you get the vaccine, it is absolutely important that you get the vaccine under a monitored setting, like in a hospital setting or in a very advanced setting where all the expertise is available in the worst case scenario, if there is a possibility of an anaphylactic reaction. Again, the likelihood of this happening is 1 in 100,000 to the vaccine. This can happen to any drug, any medication, any insect bites. For example, the likelihood of anaphylactic reaction for the most commonly prescribed antibiotic, amoxicillin, is 1 in 50,000. So I'm hoping that this incident will not influence patients' decision to get vaccine. I would highly recommend to proceed with vaccination as much as possible so that we don't end up getting COVID-19 related complications. Another doctor in Karnataka died two days after COVID vaccination because of cardiac arrest. He had high blood pressure, high glucose levels, and also he had significant heart disease in the past. He also had heart surgeries. He did the right thing by getting the COVID-19 vaccine because if he would have gotten the COVID-19, the likelihood of complication is significantly higher. But unfortunately, because of his underlying medical problems, he had a heart attack leading to cardiac arrest and unfortunately, we could not save him. My heart goes out to these families. These kind of sad stories should never happen. I'm bringing out all these stories to you because... As we are vaccinating more people, we are going to see these incidents more often. And it is our duty to find out whether these adverse events are related to vaccination or was it because of something else that was contributing to the adverse event. As with any situation, we have to determine the risk and benefits of any kind of intervention. In this case, on any given ground, always the benefits of vaccination will way, way outweigh the risk involved. Even if there was a single report with the proven evidence that vaccine is the reason for this adverse event, I'll be the first person to come and tell you that, hey, you know what, this is what is going on. So please do not take these reports at face value and then make a decision of not getting vaccinated. As you know, the long term complications of COVID-19, if you get one, is much more worse than the adverse events of a vaccination. So please get vaccinated as soon as possible. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.